So if you see over yonder in the distance, you can see the Choctaw Casino. So this is uh, not too far away across the road. Although with all the road work going on at this current time, it's not easy to get to. So this place is $12 to enter and uh, it looks pretty extensive. So let's check it out. This is chef, that is like some massive corn stalks. <clears throat> I don't think so, not this big. It's like that movie of uh, the stand. What is this, Mrs. Chef, a wigwam? Uh, a yurt. A yurt. <laughs> this is their top of house back in the day. All that straw with the fire in the middle doesn't look very uh, safe to me. Choctaw people today draw strength. Our story begins more than 15,000 years ago when our earliest ancestors emerged in the southeast. Seasons came and seasons went. We adapted new ways of living as the world around us changed. Through Ahoya Oshchishpa, God gave us a great gift, a kernel of corn. With it, our ancestors found a new food. This is really cool, Mr. Chef, how the life. seasons change. Yeah. In cool. the fertile Apotaka Hacha Valley, our ancestors designed and built one of the largest cities of its time. Great mounds and many houses surrounded a plaza. A long wall defended the city. Along the river lay their farming communities. The shape of the city reflects our clan and family relationships. It aligned with the order we still observe in the sky and the stars. <laughs> Moundville was the grand capital where the community came to trade and take part in ceremonies and festivals. A traveler from afar would have marveled at its size and scale and been awed by its people's accomplishments. The people of Moundville were artists who created objects of great beauty, innovators who made tools, farmers who understood the cycles of the seasons and of the sun, moon, and earth. Leaders who worked to balance the forces of peace. So Mrs. Chef asked if I could wear this for her to bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky looking as a chef. It's like they're dead or something. Into her eyes, they're hollow.
So a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, whenever it was, we were doing a video on a trail of tears. You can see where these traps would have actually been naturally. Mm -hmm. And they all got rushed back to Oklahoma. Mrs. Chef, could you hand me my 30 odd six? Too pretty. I say you already did. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting read here, Mrs. Chef. It's got all the all the uh, foods and all you could eat. They grow naturally. Yes. Or live naturally. Sassafras. Sassafras. How they make the filly gumbo. Mm -hmm. and the tree there's all the different foods they would eat yeah this is all the kind of stuff I eat today turkey and deer and mm -hmm. rabbit I haven't ate a rabbit in a long time it's been a long time I had a rabbit Roger Rabbit. I think his name is not Roger. I think it's like Alan or something. What the heck? Is that Daughter Chef? How did they do that? What? That? <laughs> I turned the corner and I thought I saw Daughter Chef sitting there. She, she blinded by the bat color of her skin. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's like real water. Hmm. Water. This is like a cool ass room. It actually feels like you're in a forest. And this man right here is the one and only great Cornholio. Do you have TP for my bunghole? This here, I believe, was used back in the day for your prostate exam. I'm sure happy that medicine has advanced. Yeah, Mrs. Chef, that's a real stuffed horse. It's wildfire. Wildfire. Yes. All right, we're now in the Oval Office waiting for President Biden to feed us a line of crap. They're trying to revive his uh, corpse right now so he can make this presentation. He's been dead for about 83 years, I think. So the uh, film was pretty, uh, pretty realistic in there. It talks about how the United States basically just screwed everybody over, as they always do. And it kind of goes through the time periods of them making them give a plan, making them give a plan, making them give a plan. And it shows how they did it was first by putting them all in debt, uh, and then uh, forcing them to give away land to pay their debt. See, so not much has changed in the last two, three hundred years, starting with the. Uh, the French, the British, and then the Spanish, and uh, finally the Americans. This just goes through all the land that had to be given up over and over and over. This talks about in 1855, they were all moved to the Oklahoma Indian Territory. You can see kind of the, the break off here of the Choctaw and the Chickasaw Nations.
we've been all along this trail right here. Yep. So they forced the Choctaw Nation from, which was pretty much all of Mississippi, except for the very northern part, parts of Alabama and Louisiana, move them between the Arkansas River and the Red River. through all the trail of tears and this talks about something that a lot of people don't wouldn't even think of but the the Indians are treated uh, in segregation just like black folks were so and it's their own native land you know what I mean how crazy is that Said, this place has a lot of uh, theaters and in a, in a really high, high end, high technology uh, cutting edge. Yeah, folks, this uh, museum is well worth the 12 bucks. It's uh, very educational and uh, they just did a fantastic job with it. Absolutely fantastic. This looks like a fun sport, Mrs. Schiff. Stickball. Mrs. Chef, so we just build a facade of a house inside the barn so it looks like a house. Like this is doing. All you gotta do is this be kinda cool, hmm? All you gotta do is do the front of the house. This is like a house. Feels like in a real house, but we're just in like a TV house. That's right. We're gonna, so we're gonna do that. We're just gonna build a facade of a house. Yes. Yeah, so we could easily build a facade of a house, Mrs. Chef. Let's do that. Start tomorrow if you want. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should too. So yeah, sweet potato squash. So on certain days at certain times, I believe they actually do the dances out here. So, well, it looks like Mrs. Chef, they're doing the rain dance. <laughs> Mrs. Chef, should we build a dirt house like this one? Yeah. I don't know how long it's going to last in the wind, but, you know, pretty good. Yeah. Cool. put some AC in it. It's like a yurt. Yeah. Put some AC in it. Put a little bed. Definitely have plenty of cedar trees. So we stopped by the, um, the cafe they have here. Pretty cool. So this is the, what was this, Mrs. Chef? Lavender Berry Lemonade. Lavender Berry Lemonade. It's delicious. I'm not a big fan of lavender, so I skipped that and just went with some iced tea. Champula Cafe. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a real Navajo or Indian style fry bread taco. I haven't had one of these since um, New Mexico, Mr. Chef. Yeah, I know. It's been a couple few years. And I got the pulled pork. Looks like it's got some. Fried onions on it. it. Smells delicious. Nice toasted brioche bun. It's like the food quality is very good here. All right, folks. So this place is legit. The picture looked like this, and the sandwich looked just like the picture, and it is absolutely delicious. Yeah.